Hello everyone, my name is Hao Huang Ren. In this self-reflection video, I will first talk about the reflection for the blog and the report. Second, I will talk about an example from the course. Third, I will talk about how virtue influenced me as a student and employee in the future. Now, I will talk about the reflection. From the perspective of structure, I forgot to include a title and a conclusion in the blog. The, stru the structure of writing assignments is very important. Therefore, I need to understand the structural difference among blog, essay, and report, and use an appropriate structure for them. In the report, I learned a lesson from the blog, so I properly structured the report. For example, I included a title page and a table of content in the report. I also used headings and subheadings. Thus, the report was well structured and easy to follow. As for reference, there were some common mistakes in both assignments due to carelessness. For example, for the blog, I used the rules for the reading about emotional intelligence. For the report, I did not use reference from required reference list. Therefore, in the future, I need to check how the reference is carefully and comply with reference requirements of assignment. Now, I will talk about an example from the course. When I review what I have learned, the SBI feedback mentioned by a presenter resonates with me most. I used to only give positive feedback to others and avoided giving negative feedback. Then it's because I think negative feedback will hurt others' feeling. The good thing is that people are happy to work with me because I am because I only provide positive feedback. However, the bad thing is that I cannot speak up for myself if somebody hurts me. After I learned about the SBI feedback, I know how to give proof of feedback by giving specific and action-oriented feedback. People will be better informed of the situation and the, and the impact of their behavior. Thus, I can not only make positive feedback more powerful, but also make negative feedback more acceptable. Therefore, in the future, if there is a situation that requires my feedback, I will know how to give proper positive feedback to encourage my peers to do the right thing. I will also be able to give proper negative feedback to stop my peers from doing the wrong thing. Now I will talk about virtue. Virtue focuses on good character. It is helpful for my future in assessing situations and making decisions. For example, prudence tells me that a good person would consider long-term consequences to make appropriate decisions. In the future, I need to focus on long-term performance rather than short-term performance. Moreover, it reminds me of stakeholder theory mentioned by Grebo. In the future, before making a decision, I need to consider its impact on all stakeholders. Courage tells me that a good person is willing to do the right thing despite the personal cost. This reminds me of giving ways to value mentioned by a her. When I see an unethical conduct in the workplace, I used to do nothing because I fear of negative consequences in the past. But now I would act on my values. I'm willing to be brief and speak up against unethical conduct, despite the personal cost. That is my uh, reflection. Thanks for listening.